Hello everyone. Just want to share an old tintype photo with you, who we believe is the Lincoln County Regulators, or three of them anyway. We believe they are standing in Sandia Man Cave in New Mexico. And we believe that the three gentlemen in the photo are Tom O'Folliard, William H. Bonney, Billy the Kid, gun belt or gun tucked in the belt, Doc Skurlock, also gun tucked in the waist belt. We believe the photo was taken sometime during 1878 after the Battle of Blazers Mills and sometime right before the five day Lincoln battle. The reason why we believe this is there is a lot of writing on the backdrop that they are standing in front of and we've been able to decipher some of it but very little of it and there is a lot of writing on it. A couple of things to mention also, Doc Skurlock, his toe, front of his boot is cut off, he's got a splint going up his leg and his whole leg is very padded up. This gentleman was shot in the holster at Battle of Blazers Mills. And when he was shot in the holster, that bullet ricocheted off his holster and slid down his leg. Probably causing some tremendous swelling, having to cut the front of the boot off. William H. Bonney, on the right side of his face here, he's got a great big bruise across his face that looks like it's a buttstock. During that same day at Battle of Blazers Mills, it was said that William H. Bonney heard an empty rifle of Buckshot Roberts, and as he bug rushed him, Roberts hit him in the square in the face with the butt of his rifle. A couple of other things that you can just see in the photo. They're standing in a cave, obviously, but they have a flag that they're standing in front of, draped over something and on the ground. Looks like a statement for sure. You can see the mirror that they used for the flash in the photo in the cave. And some of the writing I'll just point out to you. A number one next to Tom O'Folliard. A two over William H. Bonney or possibly a W. And a three over Doc Skurlock. We have some writing over the picture that was written on the picture right here, just like the numbers. We have some more writing that's over here and over here, written on top of the picture. But our main concern is the backdrop and trying to pull the words off the backdrop. Behind Tom O'Fallard, here is a road. And on this bend of the road, there's a name that we're trying to figure out, trying to decipher it. Next to Doc Skurlock, we have a great big tombstone painted on the sheet. And on this tombstone is a whole message, possibly to the Dolan Gang, Murphy, Seven Rivers, Pat Garrett. We don't know. We can only see some of, we can only pick out some of the letters off of it. Mainly, the uh, gentleman's initials are on it with 500 right below that. But above that, on that tombstone, is a whole message that we desperately need help trying to decipher. So we have an incredible piece of history here. Neat, neat photo. It's not a bunch of guys playing croquet. It's not a bunch of dudes in sailor suits drinking beer. This photo fits the times and the scenario that these gentlemen were in during 1878, prepping for the five-day battle. Sandia Cave, Tom O'Folliard had a friend living on a ranch pretty close by which would make a lot of sense and nobody can find these guys so these men were ghosts nobody can find them until they entered Lincoln if they were hiding up in Sandia Man Cave well that'd make a lot of sense wouldn't it anyway if you can help us if you know anybody in photography that knows how to decipher or pull words off of off of photos or maybe look deeper into this photo. We would greatly appreciate them and your help. If you go to luckyoutlaw.com, we have a full write-up on this photo, along with some contact info. We would share just about anything with you as if you're willing to help us. So uh, please contact us. If you want to see that write-up, go to luckyoutlaw.com. Subscribe, please. Maybe we have a turning point in history with this photo. Thanks for watching.